what is that? I'm sorry? Is that a question? What? Sorry? I'm sorry you're eating. What? No. She's very sensitive to smells. Um, <sighs> I'm Jason. I'm your mom's nurse. Jason, asking a tuna salad. Wait for salad. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Fish is fish. She's asleep. How do you know? I'm sorry? A lot. I'm sorry? You're sorry a lot. Do you mind? A little. How long has she been sleeping? About 10 minutes. Wait, you're Daisy? You sound surprised. Oh, yeah, I sound surprised. Wait, you're Daisy? Your accent, I just, uh, I just didn't expect it. Jason, where is Helen? Uh, Helen's on vacation this week. Where'd she go? On vacation. But she said that she let Four Oaks know and then they would let you know. Um, your family. <sighs> My aunt is the contact. No, Miss Klein's knows all that. Mrs. I am the miss. Um, your accent, your mom doesn't have an accent. Oh, I'm a sponge. It's all my time spent in England. My ear is, uh, how do you say, acute. So the hearing, I just, I pick up the accent like. When did you arrive in New York? From where? England. Have you been? Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I, It's a shame that New York isn't as charming. Do you want to go and see your mom? Oh, I won't wake her. Jason, I think you should check on her. She's still asleep. Good. My sandwich. Oh, I assumed you were done. Oops, sorry. Do you want to go and see your mom? She's very soundly sleeping. Mm, she's a light sleeper. Not with rotation. And will Helen be back? Monday. And uh, have you been a nurse for a long time? Eight years. Hmm, third grade. An eight-year-old is in third grade. It's funny how jobs are sort of the same. I'm not sure it's exactly. You know, my mother was a docent at the Met for 25 years, so I guess she was a post-post-post-doctoral candidate, and you are a Third grader nurse. What do you do? I'm an entertainer. Oh, an actor. Mm, yeah, kind of. I also am a dancer and a singer. Entertainer. And I have entertained for as long as I could speak, so... Oh, if that's the group. Very. Mm, great. And that's what you do in London? Oh, I live in Queens. And how long did you live in England? Three months. So you just returned? Mm, five years ago. Oh, sorry. I thought with the accent is the right you said. You know, I've been writing a song for my mother. Oh, I'm sure she'll love that. Jason, does your mother love everything that you do? Oh, I... Let me let you in on a little secret. Now, I don't want to gobsmack you. Is it a bird? But your mother doesn't, does not love everything you do. Is that why you're a nurse? I'm not quite sure that I understand. Uh, you're a bit nutty. Pretty sure that I'm not. You became a nurse because you were overcompensating for the nurturing that your mother didn't give you. Nope. Just no. Definitely not yet. Oh, so there's a maybe. Daisy, I'm sorry about your mother. Ah, <sighs> cob swabble. I'm gonna sit with you more. Fare thee well, mama's gone, goodbye. No use to cry. No use to sigh. For years you dogged me down. Now's the time to let you know what's on my mind. I'm going away. Don't ask me why. You heard that? Yes. Did you hear? Fare thee well. Come on. She'll want to hear you sing that song. My mother hates my voice. She's your mother. Exactly.
for a third grader, I'm pretty good at my job. <laughs> sure, your mother's proud. She wanted me to be a doctor. The 24 Hour Plays is an artistic home for me. The team has really believed in me ever since I was a director in the life-changing Nationals program. And every time they ask me to come back since then, I'm just more and more grateful to be a part of this family. I got to meet so many amazing humans in the middle of the pandemic and those connections uh, extend to collaborations I have today and I am so grateful for that experience. I mean, who can resist the unforgettable panicked excitement of creating an evening of theater in less than 24 hours with a group of other theater weirdos? Any support you can give is so deeply felt. The 24 Hour Plays has provided such an amazing community for me and I would not be the artist I am today without it.